Provided there's certainty that uh, after the six-week lead-in period, things will restart again. I think what's going to kill the industry completely is if we have this reopening and then uh, closing of uh, borders again, because you know the damage that's being done uh, is very significant. The, the, the real challenge airlines face, uh, and this is particularly true of Aer Lingus, uh, the cash burn that the airline faces, which is significant, will actually increase as the airline starts to uh, get back up and running again, uh, because you have a combination of costs that they're not currently incurring, such as fuel, airport charges, en route charges, that will now become payable at the same time as they're waiting for the revenue stream from uh, bookings to come into place. So the, the, you know, for, for a lot of airlines, actually the, the most challenging period is not what we've come through, it's what we're actually facing. And part of that will be uh, the, um, the, the risk associated with getting going too fast. Now, I, I know you didn't ask me a question in relation to financial support for Lingus, but just allow me to comment. A anybody taking out a loan will have to assess the conditions associated with that loan, not just the financial conditions, but all of the other red tape, and then satisfy themselves that it makes sense. You can put all the conditions you like, uh, but that doesn't mean the loan will be accepted. And, and it doesn't mean that, therefore, uh, you know, that uh, you, you have a strong card to play. Uh, what you've got to do, and this is, I'm sure, what the management team at Erlingus uh, is looking at, is you've got to provide certainty that if Aer Lingus starts operating on the transatlantic again, it will be able to continue to do so. Because the costs associated with ramping up a transatlantic operation are massive. Uh, and it's that period that the greatest risk is being taken. So, um, you know, I, if, if I were looking at uh, additional debt uh, being taken on by the airline, I would be very, very careful about the uh, conditions associated with that because the balance sheet has been significantly stressed and the debt that has been taken on has to be repaid. And for that debt to be repaid, the airline will have to be profitable. And you cannot oppose non-commercial restrictive uh, covenants on a, uh, an airline and hope that it'll be in a position to repay the debt. So you need to be very careful. Um, I, I don't see how Aer Lingus uh, can sensibly guarantee the operation of a, a Shannon transatlantic base, uh, given that the summer season has uh, effectively been lost yet again. And the uh, this very significant seasonality associated with the transatlantic operation into Shannon. I agree with you. I think it's really sad uh, to see it, and uh, it's terrible for everybody involved. Just, but, you just know, these be, decisions sorry. are not taken. These decisions are not taken lightly by uh, airline management. Many of these decisions have been forced upon them because of the financial crisis that they face at the moment.